All right, Capricorn, I don't know who this is for, but I knew I had to get another message for you. So this is the bonus. Here we go. It's sticking in my face again. Oh, can't get rid of it. The hair, it's just one of those things. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Mm -hmm. I think you better quit talking that or you'll be living with a fat lip. I hear it's uh, Limp Biscuit, right? <laughs> I only said that because... Um, well, I forget already. Let's just keep it rolling. So, <clears throat> something to do with Limp Biscuit or Biscuit. Someone to do with eating Biscuits, liking Biscuits. Someone with a little Biscuit butter in the Biscuit. Only strawberry jelly on the Biscuit. Someone only likes a specific jelly here. So, confirmation. Because I'm hearing it strong. Someone only likes a specific jelly. Like, will not eat the other type of jellies. Will not eat. I'm hearing like somebody really don't like grape jelly or only likes grape jelly but won't eat strawberry jelly. Or someone only likes strawberry jelly but won't eat grape jelly. You know, <laughs> something to do with biscuits and jelly. Okay. Or jelly roll. But, so this message is about uh, someone knowing how much patience you've already had with them. So it's still specific. I feel like it's specific. It's either someone to do with your family and your family or someone you're, you have a family with, maybe, or someone you're in a relationship with. They maybe even work. I guess you could say it work, but I don't really feel that. feels only because of how this person feels to me. Okay, kind of like, well, the best way for me to describe messages is really when I use myself as an example, because, I mean, I'm like the guinea pig for the experiences. So um, when I ended up getting sober, I I can relate to this person's energy a lot because it's almost like what you feel when you get sober, you look at all the people, especially your family. Now, I wasn't in a relationship, but people who are, they could see their partner as the same, like, I know you've already had to be very patient with me. I know how much shit that you've been having to put up with by me being in this way. You see? You see? So it's like someone here saying they're, I mean, I don't know if they're saying this, but they love you a lot. They do love you a lot. They, the problem isn't if they love you. The problem is that they've had a hard time really taking care of themselves and loving themselves. That's what it is. And um, this could also be reversed. This could be how you feel towards another. Like, I'm glad my, my mom and dad never gave up on me. I'm glad they have patience with me, knowing that I'm struggling with my own things, my own demons, my own addictions, my own problems and issues, money issues, addiction issues, relationship issues, whatever, my partner. And uh, I know that I don't always make it easy, but, uh, you know, I hope you don't give up on me. I hope you see me worth fighting for, you know, something like that. This is, this is beautiful. Like I relate. I relate so much to this message and it's genuine and I love that you know whatever somebody has been like maybe they've just been mean and grumpy for so many years and just an asshole you know you ever dealt with somebody like that just an asshole like hateful just fucking hateful it's like damn who pissed in your chariot was the shaft you know somebody who's just mean like Mr. Trunchbull you know from Matilda just ugh, what's wrong with you and all they really need just, you know, hasn't really appreciated you, doesn't really come around, or let's say they're in your life constantly, they're, they live with you or something, it's like, you know, there's not the most loving, you know, rough around the edges, and that's just saying it nicely. So it doesn't have to be addictions or anything like that, it's just somebody who's like, and what it feels like to me is it's been a long time, it may even be someone's caricature, it's their caricature. It's their character, you know, um, or it could be something they've suffered with for a long, long time, and and it's, uh, or they just acted a certain way for a long time, or they've been a certain way for a long time, either way, and uh, it's kind of like, I, I really hope that Capricorn or Crosswatcher really don't give up on me, or really sees me worth fighting for, or sees, you know, just, because I, I love you, I love you a lot. I care about you a lot and you know I don't feel you giving up on somebody or vice versa I don't feel someone giving up on you if this is reversed if this is happening on the outside of you with two people I don't feel two people giving up on each other you know like um, no in the sense of like someone here is not gonna give up on someone like kicking them when they're down no uh, this is this is genuine love all around 
with some people here, right? So like some of the family, yeah, and, and current relationships, and yeah. Um, it's probably very difficult. It's probably very difficult, you know? Let's say it's someone who's got money issues and money problems and they're always taken from this person and other people and using excuses when they don't, but it's like, well, we all have these issues. Look at the world we're in today, you know? But um, maybe this person has taken a little bit of advantage from others. And let's say it's from the family or something. And it could be like, you know, inwardly someone here, they are, I mean, they're almost like beating themselves up. Like, it doesn't feel like a money thing to me as much as it feels like uh, something that's got someone sick over it. Like it's really got them sick over it and worried and wondering, uh, just, I'll say this, this is an individual who's not happy about how they've been. They're not. Mm -mm. I don't know what they're showing on the outside, but they're not happy about how they've been. They may even try to be a little bit more tender, a little bit more sweet, a little bit more understanding, you know, uh, and it's just because they, I think they're starting to realize something. Maybe it's because they're getting older or something's caused someone to be in this energy now or it will be. Could be in the past, past, present, future. We're all in different timelines, so I don't know if you've already experienced this with someone, vice versa, currently happening, or if it's going to happen, or you know, if someone on the outside of you is happening with others. Um, I strongly feel this is someone who's been just an asshole, girl or guy, where it's just been like, I don't know, you know, like maybe even more loving to certain people, but when it comes to you, you know, or more loving, uh, I don't know. This may even be a connection between parent child. And we're all somebody's child. So when I say child, I don't mean necessarily someone who's a minor. This could be someone who's an adult now too. We're all somebody's child. It's just someone feeling a little bit like, man, I'm so sorry. Like it isn't, an, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if an apology is gonna be given as much as it's like, I can't really, I could say I'm sorry all day, but it's more about me needing to show you. And I hope that I can. I think someone's going to show you. And it's like, well, don't show me, show you. How you're treating me and how you've been and, and maybe if it's an addiction, what you're doing, that doesn't have anything to do with me. See, see, whoever is, I think it's you, but it could be reversed, but it strongly feels like whoever's watching this video. That's very mature of you because I sense the, the other energy being like, look, in order to create the change and see the change, it's not about how I'm feeling about it. It's about how you feel about yourself being this way. Like that's powerful, you know? And you're like, no matter what, I'm here. I love you. My love is not conditional. <laughs> I love you. And, uh, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And you'll, you'll do what you feel like you need to do. I mean, this is definitely love because this is someone saying, I can't change you, you know? I can't change you. I can tell you what I don't like. I can tell you what I see, how you are, how it's affecting us, how it's affecting the family, how it's affecting me or the children, or if it's the child themselves doing it. It's like, I can tell you what, you know, what you're doing that it's damaging your life, that it's damaging your liver, your lungs, like whatever. But you know, I could try to be a good example for you by not participating in it as well, not enabling you, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to not love you. And you just have to choose your own path. This is your life. This is your life. And someone, it may make them want to fight harder because this is because they're genuinely loved, but it's taken them a lot. That is so funny. This little boy is on the road on a scooter. Obviously, I'm not going to take a picture of him, but I, I always like to take pictures of things I see, like the fire the other day. I'm not going to take a picture of that. But he's got a little blue, he had like a, a blue ball cap on with white on the front, and he had a yellow fishing pole on a scooter. What's that called? Like, you know, well, it kind of looked like this, you know, with the handle. It's not a bike, obviously. It's got like the little wheels on it. And that, you know, and you stand on it and you kick off the, you have one foot on it. This is awful. See, that's how it looks. That's a terrible example of it. My little stick figure. 
Uh, yeah, it was a little boy. There had to be something to that. I didn't even draw the fishing pole. Hmm. Fishing pole. Is it a scooter? I feel like there's another word for that. Let's, let me see. Scooter? It's a scooter. Someone could be called Scooter here. Scooter or Cooter. It's like the nickname. Someone has like a nickname here. Scooter? I don't know, anyway, there's something to do with that. They, well, they make all kinds of scooters now. This one's got beads on it, and the handle itself lights up. Oh, that, one of them has a seat. Hey, you have a seat on a scooter. That's a sitter. Oh, wow. Scooter, little scooter. Hmm. Cooter, scooter. Cuter, cuter. That was something, I'm telling you right now. There was no way that was a coincidence. So, um, going back to whoever this is, I, I like this person because they've really come a long way. They've really grown up. Maybe this is even someone where it's like over a period of time I've grown to appreciate you more. And it's like, do you appreciate you? I don't know, maybe someone's grown up. That's kind of how it feels, you know? Don't we all? Like, well, no, whatever, we don't. But I relate to this person. I think they're a good person. I don't know how rough they've been, how mean they've been, and had their moments, you know? But don't we all? I mean, like, I used to be a freaking nightmare. So I, um, I think this is something we can work on here. And I think this is someone who's been working on themselves, whether they wanted to or not. Life had a way of working on them. And uh, if this is someone you're in a relationship with, you always knew this about this person deep down. I don't know how long you've been with them. Maybe maybe a long ass time. Some of you not very long, but some of you a very long time. And uh, could be family. I feel family strongly. And even an ex here. I do. Especially an ex that, I don't know. There was a lot of pain there, you know. Maybe there was even some sort of something to do with the connection to a child between the two of you, but I don't think it was the child y'all had together, if y'all even had a child to begin with. That's very specific. But if you did, you did. It could have been a boy, but um, maybe not necessarily. It's just that was a boy on a scooter, so I was seeing it like that. Um, this could be, if it is anything from a while ago, like an ex or something, it's like, uh, Someone's matured and come a long way. They could have even been harder on you at first. Or always, you know. But anyway, I guess we'll leave it there. We got what we needed. This is a very powerful message. I relate to every bit of this message. Every bit. Except for the boy. I don't have a boy. But in my own way, yeah. Super relatable. So... That's all we have for you, Capricorn. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.